Hey guys, this is Christian with reviews, with reviews on this and that. Today I'll be showing you how to replace and reinstall or upgrade your hard drive on your Dell Inspiron model number 1525 laptop. Okay, this is again, this is replacing the hard drive on a Dell Inspiron model number 1525. That's 1525. Now you do need to know a few things before you go ahead and reinstall or replace your hard drive is that once you replace a hard drive on any laptop or computer period is that you will need to reinstall Windows itself whether you have Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 or even Windows 10 that's just how computers basically work unless the other option of re reinstalling Windows all over again and your uh, antivirus program and Microsoft Office and your malware protection and whatnot and any other third party uh, programs that you actually use is that you can also there are possibilities where you can actually clone your hard drive entirely or the third option is that uh, assuming that you have the original Dell manufacturer recovery DVD either on a disk or on a flash drive depending on what unit and what model you have from Dell okay just so you guys know that ahead and just so you know ahead this is a this laptop has the SATA interface type of hard drive before you go ahead and order a new one, whether you get it from eBay or Amazon or Newegg.com or Best Buy or wherever you order your accessories from. So let's go ahead and get started. You basically want to shut down your computer properly. You want to unplug any any external units that are plugged in, the power cord, any flash drives, any external hard drives, printers, or scanners and whatnot. It's just much better that way. That way they are totally out of the way. Okay. So basically, you wanna <clears throat> you wanna turn your laptop upside down. And just so you know, you're probably thinking, what do I need to get to my hard drive and how do I properly remove it? You'll basically need one tool, pretty much. You'll need a small Phillips screwdriver, okay, something like this. All right, that's what I personally use. And mine, basically, this is what I personally use as a, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera. This is basically a Cobalt 26-piece screwdriver bit set that I got for only 5 bucks from Lowe's works very well and it's also ratcheting you hear that? And it also has a compartment place so anyways um, this is what I personally use basically you're probably wondering where is my where is my hard drive It's basically right here and there's only only two screws holding it down what you want to do first for just in case you always want to remove your battery before you work on any unit okay so basically this is your battery on this Dell on, on this model at least this is the battery release button you want to move that to the right you wanna you wanna pull towards you on the battery, okay? That removes the battery. You wanna put that aside, and then what you wanna do is this is your hard drive right over here. This is the hard drive bay. You wanna remove these two screws right here. Let's go ahead and do that. You definitely don't wanna lose these screws. Believe me, you wanna put these in a safe place because most likely most people do not have any extra screws not these type of screws they're very small okay once you remove these two screws you basically want to pull out on the hard on the hard drive bay which basically slides right out and this is your hard drive and this is what they call a hard drive caddy or enclosure if you would and what you want to do you want to actually you need to remove the two screws away from the bay there's one screw right here this is the second screw right here you want to you want to unscrew these real quick and again, you do not want to lose these screws, because if you do, you will kind of be in trouble. So, and then one thing you need to understand also, when, when you remove a hard drive from its own enclosure, you want to pay attention to how this hard drive got removed. In other words, oops, put this here for a minute. You will notice this comes out loose. Okay. And then basically, the hard drive caddy, I mean, excuse me, the enclosure, basically, the hard drive basically, okay, it basically uh, slides right out. And then when you have your new hard drive, now this is, just, just to show you something before I put this back on, this is the new, this is what they call the SATA interface, see, okay, that's what they call the SATA interface, because the older technology is what they call an IDE hard drive. But I don't want to go deep into that. But basically, you wanna you wanna slide this back on the same same way. 
and I believe this was on this way. Let's see. Pretty sure it was. Oops. Okay. No. This was this way. And oops. I'm gonna put screw you put you wanna put one screw on at once. And you just want to be very careful doing this. That way you're not losing any parts or damaging anything. You want to put that side back on. Then you want to put this side back on. It helps, it really helps to have a magnetic screwdriver, which by the way this is. And I did buy this at Lowe's if you're wondering where I bought my ratcheting. 26 piece screwdriver set which works wonderful for small electronics like this okay that's nice and tight basically okay and then you want to slide this back on just slides right back in there okay maybe I did something wrong Oops. yeah you want to make sure that make sure this is even okay that's why it wasn't sliding back in. I believe that's the reason. Yep, there you go. You want to make sure it slides all the way back in. You want to put the screws back on here. These, oops, these two screws. Go ahead and put these bad boys back on. And we're almost, we're almost done, guys. And it really doesn't take a rocket science, to be honest, to replace your hard drive, or memory, or battery in that case, or even your broken screen. Because as I have many videos on how and to show you how to do that, basically now you just replace your hard drive. And then what you want to do, you want to grab your battery, you want to align it towards the back of the laptop, and you want to slide it back in evenly. And you'll hear it snap back in place. Okay. And again, this is Christian with reviews on this and that. If you guys like my video or you would like to see more similar videos regarding this this unit or different units, please like, comment, or subscribe. That would definitely help me out. You guys have a wonderful day.